According to the website IntelliHub.com, a winged disc can be found on the Google Sky website after a blacked out section was finally removed. Let's see if it's true. Well take a look at this. Conspiracy theorists have speculated about the planet's existence for decades, if not centuries. Could this finally be the proof they've all been waiting for? But that is up to you to decide. As reported by the YouTube channel Secure Team 10, two alleged UFO crash sites have been found on the ocean floor. Using the Google Earth program, these kinds of discoveries are being found more and more each day. Let's take a look at the first area. Now as you can see, the object is extremely circular, and comes to a point. This cannot be a natural formation. Could it? It appears to be sitting on the top of a higher elevated area, and has a ring around it at the bottom. It also has another ring about halfway up carved into the structure. It's also very smooth as Secure Team pointed out. And again, it comes to a point like a cone. You can tell by the shadow on one side that it has a cone shape to it. It measures in at a little over 2 miles long, so this thing is massive. But is this a UFO, or an ancient building of some kind? This next one was described by the person who discovered it initially as a crashed UFO. You can clearly see a huge trail that's been dug out, and right in the front is what appears to be a saucer-like object. Did this object crash there a long time ago? Other objects like this pyramid, or these lost cities have been discovered by using Google Earth before. as well as other UFO looking objects. But is that what these objects are? Hopefully one day we will know for sure. First discovered by Scott C. Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com and recorded by the International Space Station back on October 29th 2015, this video is undeniable proof that NASA keeps a close eye on UFOs in space. After having their camera in the same position for a while, they suddenly move the camera manually to this glowing object. This video has not been edited, as it is NASA zooming in on the object.
The position of the camera is facing right above Earth, so this thing is somewhere between Earth and the space station. The astronauts watch the UFO for a few minutes, then as usual, guess what happens? Boom! Hit with the famous blue screen. But this time the blue screen was on for about 40 minutes, which is much longer than usual. And when the feed finally returned, the UFO was gone. Which makes this event much more mysterious. What was this object that had NASA so enchanted? And if it was nothing, why cut the feed? Questions we most likely won't get answers to. Has an alien somehow managed to get its hand in front of the Mars rover Curiosity's camera? Well, as reported by Scott C. Waring of UFO Sightings Daily.com back in 2015, that could be the case. Let's take a look at the photo in question. All the way to the left we can see what really does look like the fingers of some sort of being. It appears to be above ground, due to what looks like a shadow underneath. It also looks like a portion of the photo was blurred possibly to cover up the rest of the object or being. But could it be an optical illusion? Just a figment of our imagination? Or is it really the hand of an alien creature? Of course that is just speculation, but wouldn't it be cool if it is? Knowing we are not alone in the universe, maybe one day we will find out exactly what is going on up there on Mars. Until then, we'll have to just continue to speculate. This is a wonderful discovery made by Scott C. Waring of UFO Sightings Daily.com. Allegedly strange cylindrical objects have been found in old lunar photos taken by the Soviet Union back in 1966. On December 24, 1966, Luna 13 made the second ever Soviet landing on the moon. It transmitted five panoramas over a period of several days. But in this panorama photo you can see two objects that appear out of place. Let's look at the first one. This bizarre object looks very similar to some kind of axle with wheels attached. But where did it come from? Was it part of Luna 13? If it was, then where are the marks from crashing on the moon? Why does it look as of whatever this is? Let's look at the second object in question. This too seems to be some kind of cylindrical object, almost like a corkscrew. Or maybe three wheels on an axle. This too seems out of place. 
the dirt around it has not been disturbed, and there is no indication that it fell here. So again, where did it come from? Is it alien tech that the Russians sent Luna 13 to snap photos of? Or something more explainable? As reported by several websites earlier this year, a very strange artifact has been discovered in Peru. A skull, bearing the resemblance of a grey alien, is now being examined, and shows signs that it is definitely a bone. It measures in at 3 to 5 millimeters thick, and still has a stiff, grey, skin-like material attached to it, according to hidden Inca tours. It also has a very narrow foramen magnum aperture, where presumably a very thin vertebral system once entered the skull. They also went on to say in the article that it is relatively bilaterally symmetrical, and that the skull is greatly elongated. As well as saying, though easy to state that it is a complex fake, the caretaker and those that presumably found it, along with other specimens, have no access to artisans or taxidermists that could have made them. Here we see the under part of the skull. The caretaker removed some of the bone and exposed what is presumably marrow. So, could this be in fact the skull from an ancient alien being? Is it an elaborate hoax, one that would be very difficult to fake? Or is there a more rational explanation as to what this is? We'll have to wait and see. A wonderful story on helenastales.weebly.com, asks the question. Is this a huge million-year-old man-made underground complex? Dr. Alexander Cole Typen, a geologist and director of the Natural Science Research Center at Moscow's International Independent University of Ecology thinks so. All around the Mediterranean Cole Typen has studied ancient underground structures, and due to similarities, he believes they were once connected. As well as believing they were built by an advanced civilization hundreds of thousands, or even millions of years ago. On his website, Earth Before the Flood, he wrote, When we examined the constructions, none of us never for a moment had a doubt that they are much older than other cities and settlements that are placed on and around it. Going on to say that he was personally convinced once again that all these rectangular indentations, man-made underground structures, and scattered debris of megaliths were one underground terrestrial megalithic complex, which was opened by erosion to a depth of several hundred meters. Cole Typen estimates the sites located in central and northern Israel, as well as central Turkey were all exposed after erosion cut into the earth 1,000 feet down. He said, such depth of erosion could hardly be formed in less time than 500,000 to 1 million years. But what the story didn't ask is whether or not this was ancient humans, or if something else was at play here. Could this be evidence of ancient alien visitation? As many ufologists believe. If not, then the history of man will surely be rewritten, as the article suggests. Hopefully one day we will know for sure. The Cassini spacecraft launched back in 1997, and has been observing the planet Saturn system since arriving in 2004. Now, over the last few weeks, stunning images of Saturn have been coming in from the Cassini spacecraft to NASA. Like this beautiful photo of Saturn's rings.
this one of its moon Prometheus. But now, NASA has released these breathtaking shots of Saturn from Cassini's new mission phase called the Ring Grazing Orbits, which began on November 30th. In these images we see our first view of Saturn's atmosphere. The photos capture scenes from high above Saturn's northern hemisphere including the planet's intriguing hexagon-shaped jet stream. These images are amazing, and further shows us the true beauty of our solar system. Let's hope many many more will be released soon. G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. The date is Monday the 21st of November 2016. The time here in Perth, Western Australia is 1700 WAST. Um, I'm about to show you something that's going to take us all on a journey. I'm not going to say too much because I can neither confirm or validate what you are about to see, you'll have to visualize it with your own eyes and ears and make up your own minds. Okay? Uh, that's the best I can say to you. Just just watch the screen and I'll go through and show you. This is from an ISS live feed by the way folks. Okay, folks, keep an eye on this here. Keep watching. There you go, folks. What do you make of that? It's not a light refraction or anything else, folks. You can see it moving. What 
the hell is that? Oh, one, two, three. I'll put it on pause. I'll go back just slightly. Look at that. Maybe light refractions, but I seriously doubt it. <clears throat> that is definitely not. Any ideas, folks? Because so I don't have any. It's not a reflection. It can't be because the sun's behind us, behind the screen sort of thing, this side of us. Still there. It's been there for three minutes now. That's a long time. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, the sun's behind the space station. You can see from the shadows and the light directed at solar panels. Still there. Heading up to five minutes now. Sorry, this isn't much exciting, but this is all I need from the ISS station. 
which has been pre-recorded as a live feed. Slowly going now. Gone past five minutes. So it's not a light refraction. Still just there, you can kind of see it. Big shout out to Mike, who sent this to me. God bless, brother. We're all in your debt. I'll play this. Okay, folks, this is about 36 minutes now. And the reason why I come back here is because this came up, obviously. Now, the stupid thing is, is if you, someone must have noticed something, <clears throat> and I guess they were trying to figure out what was going on. Now, watch what happens when you come back. Just keep your eye on this area here because you can still see it. Notice the difference in the sun now. It's moved over. So this is, that screenshot was a long way. That was hours that were cut out. Not just a minute. That was hours that were cut out. You see the purple tinge there? The blue tinge? You see it? You just make it out. See it? And folks, excuse my language, but that is friggin' massive. They've manipulated the screen there to make it black. See how it's black here? But you can still see it. So that was a fail. Sorry. Right. Let's see if we get any more juicy ones. There you go, folks. As you can probably guess, there's no light refraction. Ooh. Someone made a boot. Whatever that is, it doesn't look good, folks. What do you think that is?
it's actually changing on the screen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for and ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> I think we have to face reality that it's here. That's a high definition, full screenshot there. I've enlarged it as much as I can. As far as I know, there's no doctoring or anything that goes on with these live feeds. As you can see, it's actually moving through the sky. It's not staying in one spot. Just let this play, folks. Not sure how much longer it's going to go. But I feel it's my duty to keep you informed, so... As you can tell, it's moving. The, the uh, space station is not, for want of a better term. Obviously, the camera. There's two planets there two planets there, one red at the back.
on big one there. I'll move on a bit folks and see if I can see another bit Although it's still there, you can still see it. Okay, folks, we're up to the three-hour mark on the video. That's full enlargement now. See what happens, see if it comes back. It usually does. Please subscribe, like, and share this video with everyone because it's that important. This is like the bombshell video of the century. Can you see that? Look at that. That's pretty definite, isn't it? Look. Look at the circle. It's a clearly defined circle.
This video has not been edited, as it is NASA zooming in on the object. The position of the camera is facing right above Earth, so this thing is somewhere between Earth and the space station. According to the website IntelliHub.com, a winged disk can be found on the Google Sky website after a blacked out section was finally removed. Let's see if it's true. Well take a look at this. Conspiracy theorists have speculated about the planet's existence for decades, if not centuries. Could this finally be the proof they've all been waiting for? But that is up to you to decide. As reported by the YouTube channel Secure Team 10, two alleged UFO crash sites have been found on the ocean floor. Using the Google Earth program, these kinds of discoveries are being found more and more each day. Let's take a look at the first area. You can clearly see a huge trail that's been dug out, and right in the front is what appears to be a saucer-like object. Did this object crash there a long time ago? Other objects like this pyramid, or these lost cities have been discovered by using Google Earth before. as well as other UFO looking objects. But is that what these objects are? Hopefully one day we will know for sure. First discovered by Scott C. Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com and recorded by the International Space Station back on October 29th, 2015, this video is undeniable proof that NASA keeps a close eye on UFOs in space. After having their camera in the same position for a while, they suddenly move the camera manually to this glowing object. The astronauts watch the UFO for a few minutes, then as usual, guess what happens? Boom! Hit with the famous blue screen. But this time the blue screen was on for about 40 minutes, which is much longer than usual. And when the feed finally returned, 
the UFO was gone. Which makes this event much more mysterious. What was this object that had NASA so enchanted? And if it was nothing, why cut the feed? Questions we most likely won't get answers to. Now as you can see, the object is extremely circular, and comes to a point. This cannot be a natural formation, could it? It appears to be sitting on the top of a higher elevated area, and has a ring around it at the bottom. It also has another ring about halfway up carved into the structure. It's also very smooth as Secure Team pointed out. And again, it comes to a point like a cone. You can tell by the shadow on one side that it has a cone shape to it. It measures in at a little over 2 miles long, so this thing is massive. But is this a UFO, or an ancient building of some kind? This next one was described by the person who discovered it initially as a crashed UFO.